this video, we're going to talk about the billing settings within Perfect Mind. Now, when we want to access the billing settings, we're going to simply go to the settings area first by going to your name in the top right corner, letting the drop down come down, and we would simply click settings. Now, from here, where we want to go to is underneath apps, and we're going to go to billing. Now, the first one you see is billing setting. Now, you don't need to worry about this one. This is something that we will take care of for you. So for those of you who want Perfect Mind to actually bill through the system, that want to have live billing in the software, uh, you simply need to fill out an application uh, and we'll take care of the rest. You submit it back to us, we will get the billing live in the system and we will adjust these settings for you. Now, where you need to go to is tax. So we simply click tax. And from here, we want to simply add your tax in here. We see some that are already in here, GST, sales tax, and so on. Uh, we're simply going to add your tax so that when you set up your items, uh, the ones that have applicable taxes, you can add this tax to it. So we simply click New, and we could give our tax a name. So maybe we'll call this California Sales Tax. From here, the only other thing you have to worry about is making sure that it's active. Uh, don't worry about the code name, just leave that alone and simply click save. Now, after your tax saves, you simply want to add the tax rate. So what is the actual tax rate? So in this case, we would click new and we would simply give it a percentage. So say for instance, the tax percent was 5%. We would simply click five. The start date would always be the day that you're doing it. And then from there, you would simply click save. And your taxes are done. So now anytime you add, say for instance, like a pro shop item, you'll be able to add the California sales tax to it. Now, the next area we need to go to is the store receipt so that when we sell items, when we sell products or maybe memberships, uh, you can print off a receipt for the purchase. So we simply click store receipt and there's always going to be a generic receipt there that you can simply edit. So I would simply click the receipt that's there and from here you can choose how many copies you want the system to print. You can choose whether or not on the receipt you want to put the customer name or the customer phone number. From here, you can simply fill in your company name. If you have a company slogan, you could put it here. And you could have a custom header at the top of the receipt if you want. Otherwise, I would simply just delete this out. Likewise, you could put in a custom footer. And from here, you would simply fill in your business address and phone number information. Uh, for those of you who tax registration is mandatory for you, you would put it in here. Uh, this does not apply for the vast majority of you, so I would simply delete it. And then from there, you would simply save. And your receipt's done. And your billing settings are taken care of.